Hello everyone, this is me, Satya here, and I'm back with another bonus love read. This reading is going to be for the sign of Gemini. Gemini's, if you are in a situation where you really want your love life to move ahead and you really want to get married soon, you really want to be in a committed relationship soon, and you really want to know will it happen soon or not, this reading will definitely help you know that. I will be adding charms as well in this reading around the person's energy as well. So stay tuned and before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my mail ID. In the description box, you can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So yeah, let's dive into the read and let's find out. Will you get married soon? Yes or no? Gemini. The Emperor. Five of Cups, King of Cups. Honoring the deck, we do have Queen of Cups. I really feel like, you know, um, there's a strong possibility of you having two options to go for or to choose from. Um, and I feel like, you know, for majority of you, if, if the, the offer that you have, you can definitely move ahead and get married soon. But the one that you're probably waiting on for, if you choose to wait on for that person, probably you will have to wait more. So it's up to you whether you choose this direction or that direction for yourself. But I feel like, you know, there is an opportunity out there for you to uh, grab. If you want to move ahead in your love life, you can surely do that. Because I really feel like, you know, there is somebody out there who would want to be a part of your life or who would want you to be the part of their life. But um, probably, like, you know, the one that you want, the one that you are waiting for, probably that person is not willing to give you what you want. But if you choose to move on, you also yourself know that if you want, you can definitely move ahead with your love life, choosing somebody else and accepting somebody else's uh, proposal. But probably you're not choosing that to, you know, that for yourself. And I feel like you know, that's the reason why your love life is stuck. But I feel like, you know, for those of you who are, you know, really tired of being on the waiting side, and um, if you really want to move ahead in your life, I feel like, you know, you should get, uh, you know, get going with the proposal that you're already having and move forward with your life. Uh, because um, that's exactly what you want. That's exactly what you're aiming and desiring right now. For the majority of you, whoever it is that you're dealing with, that person and the situation seems like stuck. And I feel like, you know, that is not going to change anytime soon. So if you really want to get married, it's your call, your decision. Whether you choose to um, stick around the person and wait for them or do you want to move forward in your love life with somebody new uh, that is probably there ready to get married to you, you can go for that as well. So it's your call, your decision. But I really see that, you know, if you choose to get married to a new person, you will be very happy. I'm not saying that you won't be happy with the other person probably that you are in love with but i feel like you know uh, you are going to be more fulfilled with the new person because with the new person you are going to be like you know taken care of loved and you know respected a lot more than what you are being respected and loved in, in the current one so i really feel like you know the other person is going to love you like you, you deserve to be loved uh, but for other person, I really don't see that energy. Uh, I feel like you know this, that there is a lot of blocks as well in the situation that you are having with a specific someone. So if you really want to get married, probably you you, you need to choose it. You know, of uh, somebody somebody uh, unknown for now, as in you choose to leave behind a person situation which is stagnant. Uh, in your love life, so you could move ahead in your life with somebody you knew, somebody better. So um, if if you want, you can go ahead with that putting an end to the toxic connection, putting an end to a stagnant connection and move ahead in your life. If you choose to do that, you will be very happy because I really see happy energies coming with that, uh, you know, person. Let's see some uh, cards to see what could be the nature or feature of this person, whoever it is that is going to be your husband or your wife. What is going to be their nature or feature? I feel like, you know, they will be very dominant and, um, but, but in a good way. They are not going to be controlling. They are going to be dominant. They are going to be loving. They are going to be like, you know, taking care of all the, that you desire and need. Uh, let's see more about them. Or uh, it can be also your energy as well. For some of you, this person could be light hair, uh, kind of bald as well. Athletic, tall, arrogant, rich, and successful. I feel like, you know, this person is going to be completely, um, you know, somebody who, is, who has achieved a lot in their life already. And I feel like you know, this person could be mature as well um, and, and the way they deal with things. Um, unlike your current person or unlike somebody else that you're probably dealing with. Let's see what else do we have about them. What else do we have about them? What else do we have about this person? Yeah. 
I feel like, you know, the divine really want you to kind of like, you know, take your time before you make that choice or make that decision. Uh, probably you need to meditate around it because it's going to be different for different Geminis out there. For some of you, probably you, you should wait on for the, you know, uh, person to give in to the connection that you have with a specific someone. And for others of you, probably it's the right time for you to move on. Like I said earlier, I feel like, you know, for some of you, you're going to choose that. For others of you, you're going to choose that. But at the same time, it's very important um, for you to kind of like, you know, uh, decide when you have kind of like you know spend some time alone with yourself meditate around it try to seek guidance around it and then make a choice for those of you who are feeling stuck and stagnant in your life and feeling annoyed with the person's attitude uh and being on the waiting side is killing you i feel like it's time for you to move on but for those of you who are you know uh you know in, in that hope that this person will give you what you want and they love you too then again, if, if you choose to wait on for them, that's perfectly fine. If everything is go, good and okay between the two of you, and if you choose to wait, then things are going to be all right. But if you choose to wait on for a person who is not even talking to you or who is not responding to you, who is not giving you the respect that you deserve, then probably it's time for you to move on. So um, put your, your concerns aside for now, and I feel like it's time for you to make that choice by spending some time uh, with the nature of us and then going around it. Um, I feel like, you know, whoever this uh, person is who's going to be uh, your life partner, I feel like, you know, they are going to bring a lot of changes in your life. Probably uh, there will be like a lot of uh, movement coming in your life with this person as well. I feel like, you know, they probably would be living in a different uh, country state as well. Um, I feel like, you know, for, for a majority of you, um, this person is going to be good at multitasking. So they are not going to put their love life on hold for, for their work or anything. I feel like you know, they are going to be like, you know, um, somebody who, who is good at multitasking all the time. And I feel like you know, they, they really um, deal with things in a very mature way. Even if something comes suddenly, they are, they, they are aware of how to handle things. Um, I feel like, you know, uh, this person will also help you kind of like, you know, to lift off some uh, burden from your shoulder as well, especially for those of you who are dealing with financial crisis right now or if you are having any sort of, uh, you know, uh, codependency issue and this and that. I feel like, you know, this person is going to help you heal from that, is going to help you kind of like, you know, overcome your own challenges, addictions as well, be that like addiction to a specific someone, a kind of a pattern or thought process, um, you know, alcohol, drugs, whatever. Um, this person is going to help you kind of like, you know, overcome those issues as well. So I really feel like, you know, this person is going to bring a lot of positive changes in your life um, as, as you, as you, uh, you know, guys get together. So I feel like, you know, this new person seems to be very promising to be very honest. Um, but yeah, let's see some, uh, charms now. Let's see what the charms has to add. <clears throat> let's see what the charms has to add to the read. I have one alphabet that came out. Hold on, let me pick that up. Wow, so it's a J. But yeah, let's start with the cards first. You just killed me with your smile. So this person is somebody who's gonna love you for who you are. They are gonna be madly in love with the in in in, in the way you smile. I feel like you know, they are going to feel charmed by you, basically. Um, I need you tonight. I feel like you know there will be a lot of time spent with this person at night, uh, for majority of you. Um, I feel like, you know, the divine really wants you to consider the offers that you are having right now instead of keeping yourself stuck in the wrong situation. Um, you have to have that strength uh, to move forward with your life right now. I feel like it's going to take a lot of courage on your part to make the choice to move forward in your life rather than keeping yourself stuck. But I really feel like, you know, the winter time is going to be very significant when it comes to this connection that you are going to get into um, with your specific someone. Uh, when it comes to the alphabets, we have I... J, J, R, Y, and M. These could be your name initial, name initial of the person that you're dealing with as well, but, uh, or probably the new person who's going to come into your life. So I really feel like uh, you are going to be spending quality time with this person, whoever it is that is coming in your life. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it was of help, do like, share, and subscribe till I do the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.